Summer is almost here, which means things are about to get super busy around here. What does that mean for the rental market? Let's find out from the vacation company's Drew Brown. Thanks for being with us again, Drew. Thanks for having me, Betsy. So here we are. It's uh, Memorial Day. It's right around the corner. So what's that mean for the rental market? Uh, it, it's, it's going into the busiest time of the year, which is great uh, from, from both a rental standpoint and a real estate standpoint. Uh, we're, we're really excited to see what the summer has to offer. Uh, we're seeing a lot of heavy occupancy. Um, you know, April was a little bit of a slower month, so we're, we're glad to, to get into May and then get into June and make sure that uh, the summer months are very powerful. Yeah, absolutely. So what is new in the rental market this summer and what is the outlook you have for the rest of the year? So in terms of, of what's new, uh, we're, we're just seeing a lot of different trends for when folks want to travel. Okay. Uh, it's one of the first times we've really seen uh, the shorter market time frames come into Hilton Head. Folks that are looking for less than a week's time frame, we're such a traditional market that right. people are literally looking for around a, a week at a time and we're getting a lot of requests for four days. Uh, it's definitely one of the newest trends, but the outlook is, is good. Uh, you know, I think that, that what we've seen over the last couple of years is a lot, a good level of consistency and, and that'll continue in terms of performance. So we're, we're excited about that for the rental market for, for 2018. Okay, so with those shorter time frames, what does that mean for homeowners that are interested in listing their property for rental? And what does it mean for us on turnover days? Does that mean we're gonna have more than one turnover day? <laughs> we very well may. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what we're seeing is, is and that, that's actually exactly right. We're gonna, we're gonna see a lot more people coming and going sooner than, than uh, you know, previously in our, our, our market. So people are gonna wanna look for those Thursdays through Sundays. Um, and, and a lot of times we're a little hesitant to do that as a rental market because we don't wanna ruin two weeks worth of rentals. So, right. uh, but you do see a lot more inquiries in, in the, uh, uh, the last minute market. So people uh, are, are booking today for next weekend, uh, okay. which is great to see because we wanna see people you know, in the market not only for rentals, but then that those people are also uh, lookers for uh, you know for the for real estate market. Yeah, as I was just saying, we were we're out in the lobby talking, and uh, a property went to, to market for sale for uh, in, in Sea Pines uh, just the other day, and, and we've already had uh, you know four folks that have inquired about uh, the property and how it performs and and what it can offer. Yeah, it's an exciting time in the market for sure. And so with that though, that may be an extra opportunity for homeowners if they if they aren't booked for the week, and then all of a sudden they can turn around that four day time frame. That's extra bookings for them. That, that's absolutely right it, it's a good way to add revenue uh, if you've set up a goal for yourself at the end of the year uh, it's a great way to add revenue in the, the last minute um, and again it's, it's one of those philosophies some money is better than no money uh, but again when you've got a good outlook for, for the year uh, it's just a great way to add occupancy and revenue yeah and so how do you at the vacation company help homeowners that are interested in vacation rentals and how do they get to you so we try to guide them we really want to understand what their needs and wants are and then talk to them about what their goals are for, for rentals uh, and property care so we can set up a clear expectation for them uh, to make sure they they're have a clear understanding of how we're going to perform and, and what they expect from us. Um, really the, the best way for them to get a hold of us is through our website which is vacationcompany.com. You can always email me at drewdru at vacationcompany.com as well. I'm always happy to answer any questions or, or see if there's any way that I can help. All right. Well, if you're ready to rent or put your house on the rental market, give Drew a call. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.